But let's begin with our top story of the day. Tomorrow, former President Donald Trump will be in court facing a brand new indictment for his alleged attempt to overturn the 2020 election and hold on to the presidency. Yeah, the news of Mr. Trump's third indictment this year hitting front pages of papers and news sites all over the world this morning. The former president calling this case ridiculous. He denies all wrongdoing. The Republican frontrunner for the 2024 presidential race says he's being targeted and plans to run no matter what comes of his legal troubles. But the 45-page indictment paints a months-long run-up to the Capitol breach on January 6th. In it, prosecutors accuse the former president and a number of others of repeatedly trying to influence election results and officials in multiple states. Kelly Meyer joins us live now with what else the former president is charged with. Kelly. Good morning, guys. Well, we were here outside the federal courthouse here in Washington, D.C., when the grand jury, uh, hearing evidence in special counsel Jack Smith investigation, uh, handed up the indictment. Uh, last night, we were here as that happened. Uh, reaction coming in from uh, across Congress and across uh, the country. A pledge to seek a speedy trial here from special counsel Jack Smith. He came out and spoke very briefly and didn't take any questions following this indictment. Uh, he also encouraged all Americans to read this in full. But as you said, this is all centered around the January 6th attack at the U.S. Capitol and efforts by the former president to overturn allegedly the 2020 election here. Former President Trump facing four criminal counts. We'll review them here. Three conspiracies, one to defraud the United States, a second to obstruct an official government proceeding, a third to deprive people of civil rights provided by federal law or the Constitution, the fourth count of obstructing an official proceeding. The case was randomly assigned to Judge Tanya S. Chudkin, a 2014 Obama appointee. She is the only federal judge in Washington, D.C., who has sentenced January 6th defendants to sentences longer than the government had requested. Now, you can see here a lot in this 45-page indictment. In it, as we've been looking into repeated attempts to pressure former Vice President Mike Pence more than had been made public before. Included in this, asked to interfere in the election results after the Capitol was stormed and more efforts by Trump pressing Pence to reject electoral votes when Pence called to wish Trump a Merry Christmas. Then the former vice president's chief of staff alerting Pence's secret service detail, concern for the president's safety. Our Blake Berman caught up with his former chief of staff last night after the news broke. Take a listen. The first time this notion came up, he dismissed it out of hand as something that was that was silly. I don't think we ever expected it would get to the point that it did. And I don't think any of us ever anticipated the violence that occurred on January 6th. And so uh, our role was really to, to advise him to make sure he was best informed for his conversations with the president. Pence, now a 2024 Republican presidential candidate, reacting to the news last night, saying Trump's, quote, candidacy means more talk about January 6th and more distraction. The Republican field so far split on this. We heard from Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, Trump's main rival in this race so far, saying at the time last night he hadn't read the indictment, but he did say that reforms, quote, are needed to be enacted so Americans can remove cases from Washington, D.C. to their home districts. Others, like Asa Hutchinson, has called for former President Trump to step away from the campaign, quote, for the good of the country. You guys. All right, Kelly, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.